Welcome to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman, a new innovative radio show that taps into what's happening now in the medical industry, featuring fitness experts, foodies, and medical professionals. Get it right here and be an active participant in your health. Mixed messages about what is best for your health can make you feel like you're on a runaway train. So hop on and have some fun while Liz navigates this medical mystery ride. Call 888-565-1470 and ask Liz, your source for the latest medical technology and long life advice. All aboard, here's Liz Goodman. Hey, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman. For the last couple of weeks, I have been out of town getting a lot of work done to my teeth. If you've been following my program at all, I had some mini implants done. I had to have a bunch of work done to my smile. And so now they're all done. You guys get to see it so for the first time. And I want to thank um, very much uh, Dr. Michelle Kerwin and Dr. Frank Snipes from the Center for Family and Child Enrichment. Um, They were wonderful filling in for me for the last two weeks, talking about childhood obesity and depression. They're great topics, important topics. But if you know me at all, you know that I have been talking about wanting to change the direction of the show a little bit and not just make it about doctors and medical history, but all about the things that matter in keeping yourself healthy and fit. Hence the name Stay Alive and Fit. So before I get into all that, I just want to Give a shout out to the Center for Family and Child Enrichment for sponsoring my program. They can be reached at 305-624-7450. They're down in, my, down in Miami. And they are a uh, not-for-profit, but they do need your help and donations. They uh, help children who don't have parents, who are orphaned, get medical attention and also get placed in foster care. So they're a really wonderful institution. I also want to tell you that you can email me or at uh, Liz at stayaliveandfit.com. You can turn into, tune into 1470 to watch us or listen to us at 6 to 6.30 every Thursday night. And you can log on to stayaliveandfit.com and hit the watch live key to watch us live right now. So tonight's guest, as I was mentioning, is completely different than any of the guests I've had in the past. She is a really sassy lady. She's really, really, really fit. I'm really jealous because she's (laughs) so passionate about what she does. She's beautiful. She defies gravity. She's so youthful. And she actually owns a place that's called Defy Gravity Yoga and Fitness. I want to welcome Lisa Midlarski to the program. Hi. Hi, thank- Lisa. Hi. Thank you for having me tonight. You're welcome. So before I introduce you and we have a conversation, right. I just want to tell a little bit about your location. Mm-hmm. If you want to reach Lisa, you will call Defy Gravity Yoga at 561-866-6001. Lisa is partnered with a good friend of mine, Tanya of Wow Health Group. Uh, they are located at 5821 North Federal Highway in Boca Raton. They're a really cool facility. Lisa's place, Defy Gravity Yoga, was featured on Channel 25 a couple of months ago. And it is, if you go online and you just check out the video from uh, the weather girl from Channel 25 who is on <laughs> Defy, you know, it was one of, on these one of these weird swings that she has in her studio. I'm just going to explain to you. It's yoga like no other. other. <laughs> My New York is coming out of me. I've been in New York for two weeks. Uh-huh. Yoga like no other. Uh-huh. You actually have hammocks that are attached to the ceiling and you do yoga and fitness routines by people floating and swinging from the air inside these hammocks. I've never seen anything (laughs) like it. It's just really cool. I know. Yes, we do. We have, um, um, I I was a yoga teacher. uh, I started probably like seven years ago. um, And um, I was introduced to uh, uh, suspension yoga. And it just wowed me because (laughs) um, uh, as much as I used to do yoga, I, I still had a hard time. I wasn't very flexible. It took me a long time because I was a big meditator to get into yoga, but I, so many of my clients really uh, weren't into, the, into yoga. They thought it was very boring. They couldn't get into that headspace. And so when I was introduced to this, it was very playful. And I liked it that it was playful. There were so many benefits to it of um, doing inversions by 
um, getting really like strong and flexible. And Excuse me for yeah. a minute. You said doing inversions. Yes. So that means you're okay. literally going upside down. We actually go upside down. And that is one of the things of, you know, it, it, you know, it is a, uh, it's a niche between yoga and the aerial arts. Okay. So the aerial arts is where they do all those, you know, like pink and she does all those things mm -hmm. up in the air and yoga is doing the postures on the ground. And this was where we have um, sometimes feet are on the floor, sometimes only one foot is on the floor, or sometimes we are totally in the air, or we're like 3D in space where we turn ourselves upside down. And one of the reasons why it's so beneficial is because it really is good for um, uh, it's very good for decompression. So okay. a lot of people who have back problems or have neck problems, it really like stretches it out. So it's like traction. And that could be just just turning upside down and not doing anything but just that itself. It, you don't there's nothing to work at. Okay, it already does it, you know, on its own. And plus it gives a very calming and relaxing, you know, effect. So it also deals a lot with stress. On the other end, we could go to the other place where we do a lot of strength moves, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things we're doing a lot of crunches and all different ways of moving our body around and opening up our hips, you know? So it's good with de with um, de um, with your um, metabolism, it's good with your lymphatic system. So turning upside down has a lot of benefits. But uh, at the same time, you know, I've been doing it for so long that there are some people that, you know, just are too scared to do um, inversions. Mm -hmm. So we also do where we don't do inversions, but we're still really working a lot on balancing and doing things that you still cannot do um, by yourself without having, you know, different planes. So we kind of have all things for all different kinds of people. Okay, so let me just give our okay. listeners in case they want to okay. call you and speak to you and ask okay. a question. Right. A telephone number here to contact Lisa is... Right. 888-565-1470. That's 888-565-1470. I have a couple of questions and, okay. and uh, things that I think that people like myself okay. might be concerned about. Okay. So just to give people a really clear visual, okay. um, these are, if you imagine a hammock attached to a wire of some sort to the ceiling, the hammock hangs okay. about you know, low enough to the ground that you can actually stand on the ground and you can get into the hammock. And then at some point, it's lifted up into the air and you actually feel like you're flying in the air. And it's right. just a really amazing experience from people that I've spoken to that have, right. that have done this. Right. Now, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm somebody who can do that kind of thing. I was a rock climber, you know, okay. so okay. that's all good. But I'm somebody that's migraines, severe headaches, uh, sometimes vertigo, and I love yoga. Okay. And, you know... It takes pain to be beautiful. As I mentioned to you before the show began, okay. I'm wearing long sleeves. Oh, there's a picture okay, of it right, right now. If anybody's online right. and they, they check it out, it's stayalivefit.com. They can yes. see our photo. It's really, really beautiful to look yeah. at and really cool. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it does take pain to be beautiful. I get that. But yoga, when you think of yoga, you think of something that's peaceful and not painful. And, you know, I'm wearing long sleeves because I hate my arms. Right. And when I used to do rock climbing and yoga, I okay. had big kind of arms. And okay. now I just have flap, you know, okay. chicken arms. <laughs> I, not, I want my chicken arms back, I guess. So somebody like me who has these kind of issues or other people who have medical issues, obviously they should speak with a doctor before starting any kind of yes. routine. Yes. But can people like me have that experience or do you modify the experience Okay, so um, I'm going to start from the beginning with mm -hmm. it. First of all, um, there's when I say there's a lot of benefits um, for that for the healthy person. Um, there is also um, things that um, there's people who cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So the downfalls would be somebody who has glaucoma, somebody who has high blood pressure that's not on medication. Okay, and for that reason, is when you turn yourself upside down for like 30 mm -hmm. seconds. You, your blood pressure goes up, so and then it comes back down. So we wouldn't suggest that. Um, uh, if you just had surgery, if there's some heart problem, if you have vertigo and you uh, and you get too dizzy, this would not be for you. Um, I would still say for you to you know make sure that you you know consult a doctor uh, before. I used to say uh, if for pregnancy. Now we are actually going to be starting a class 
for women that are pregnant because there's a lot of people who have been doing the swings that um, that not from my studio. This is from, you know, um, people who started aerial arts and now they have a whole thing on pregnancy. They're not going upside down, but just sitting uh, just certain ways on a swing to really take that pressure off of the hips mm -hmm. and get a little bit of a stretch. So it's gone into many different ways. It is a class for all levels. But again, um, if you know, if you have those main issues, you cannot go upside down. But does not mean that there's not other things, okay, that you cannot still work on for your strength, okay, for your arms, that it doesn't mean that we are turning upside down, that can, you could still do it. Can yes. you do, okay, so for, what about somebody with low blood pressure? I don't have high, I okay, have low. So even somebody has really low mm -hmm. blood pressure, you know, they could get dizzy going mm -hmm. upside down because it's the same thing. You know, you're, you're, you know, the blood is going all out of the feet and then rushing to the head. We teach you how to go down very safely and how to come up. So you're not going down and coming up with one big move, you know, so you get that, you know, dizzy feeling. But um, if you have high or low, very low, I would say no, you would not so want to go upside down. There are yoga. And I've right. done downward dog and you're upside down for just a moment. Okay. Is this an experience people will be hanging upstairs upside down for a long time? Can they enjoy what you're doing and just not do that part of it? They could. Um, well, first, when they first start, I don't want anybody to stay down for a long time. So uh, they're not down for a long time. They're only down, you know, it could be that I just take them down and bring them right up or they could stay down, you know, for a little bit of time. But um you know, when it when it's your first time, it takes a little bit of time to um, get used to it. What gets what is the main thing is that a lot of times you come in with fear, and that's not a bad thing. I actually um, I work on the fear, and it, it's a very like empowering feeling. So, but sometimes you're so fearful that you don't get to enjoy the the calmness and the relaxation on that time. But the more you come, you get over that fear and then you could really get into just letting the body go and really feeling all those benefits. So even if we're just working on the fear, that's very empowering. Just that, you know, so. So is the age range of the, like, do you have different levels of the class? I, I do. I have a beginner's class mm -hmm. um, and that's where I just go a little bit more slow and more on the fundamentals of it. I stay you know, more basic. Mm -hmm. And then I have an all levels class and all levels is I have it that anybody could do it. Um, I kind of modify it for everybody. Um, so I could have, I mean, the young girls that come in um, aren't even as strong as the women who come in that are in their 50s or the 60s that come in, you know, because there is a lot of core strength that you will develop. And even if you don't have it at the beginning, you're not supposed to be great at it from the beginning. That's the whole thing. I want you to see where you are and then we get better, you know, than where you, you know, right. where you started. So, you know, we have to get over the end of it, you know, we have to get into like, you know, where are we? And then we get fit. And it's, it's a playful practice and we're on silk hammocks. And the picture that you showed was one hammock that we have. And we have like three different kinds of hammocks because some that we do are just for body sculpting and the hammock's very low and we don't do any inversion, but I kind of call it my um, pink TRX. You know, <laughs> it's more like, it's more like feminine um, feeling towards it. It's not as like hardcore, but you're working it. You're working it. And then we have ones where the swing, the swing is never above your waist. Mm -hmm. It's never above your waist. So then we do ones that could be just an ab class, or we do uh, aerial as a circuit class, or we do it as a tricks class, or we do it as a beginner's class, a basic level. So, but one thing that I would say that the main thing I hear from everybody at the end of the class is, wow, I really thought I had a good core and this, class really makes me realize how much I have to really work on it. Well, do you have so, to be really flexible to do this or can anybody no, sort of work into it? The, everything is to work into it. It is, it's an, the thing that I love about it, it's an illusion that it looks so hard. If anything, it's 
easier, especially for me who was a yoga teacher and I wasn't flexible. I was one able to get deeper into a you pose. You weren't flexible as a w- yoga teacher. No. <laughs> well, okay. And you know, the reason the reason why is first is of all, is that a fallacy? I, yes, it, it <laughs> is because the flexibility is is more. You just want to be the best that you could be right. with what you have. So it's not that you were supposed to, you know, be like a pretzel. And if you're a runner or if you're a cyclist or you spend all day. Um, you know, hover over a computer, mm-hmm. there's a good chance you're not very flexible. So, right. you know, you're going to be you're going to be a lot tighter and you need it more than anybody else. I mean, the person who's flexible, really flexible, should be working on other things. You know, but they already could do things like that. So um, the fact that I wasn't that flexible and the fact that I got older and inversions, I didn't want to do some things anymore because I didn't want to get hurt. The swing actually helped. So I was able to go deeper into a stretch that I could not do um, on my own. And I could was able to do inversions that I didn't want to do anymore that I could do right away. And so it was like, wow, you know, I didn't have to like, I could do a handstand, you know, right away on your first time. And a lot of people, the first time they come into my class, I'm going to get them into a handstand and they could do it. You know, they can, can kids actually do build. this. Can you have kids come into the, the program? The, the kids love to do it. Like what age? Well, I, I don't. Can I bring my kids? Yeah. Well, here, here's what <laughs> everybody wants to bring their kids. And they say to me, they're a gymnast, they're a dancer, they do this. I know they could do it. In fact, they're better than the adults. Of course. Because we're trying to make the adults be kids again. Mm-hmm. So right now, um, I do a lot of parties you know, that could be for kids ah. where they, you know, they, you know, r- rent it out for a certain hour. But I don't have right now kids classes because um, I basically let a parent um, come with the child that they know it's kind of going to be an adult's class. And if they want to do that, um, they will do it. And the adult either um, is with them or they are doing privates or they're renting it out as a class. So I, we rent it out as parties. We rent it out for companies. Um, so it's a good way for people to, you know, get to, you know, uh, from the office. They all, like, get into right. their work clothes. <laughs> the kids love it because I could let them swing and I could do it knowing what the kids want to do, but making sure that it's safe, which you wouldn't want to do what they want to do if you both were in the same class together you know so the kids can do it i'm going to interrupt for a second because i want to sort of circle back to how you integrate with wow health because this is a stay alive and healthy show so you know the whole point of um of what your studio is doing and how you're combining with wow health is that it's like an integrative service that people can experience Right. right they can go in they can get healthy with a fitness routine they can get healthy with this really innovative, fun way to exercise. And then they can go next door into the wow health part of your company. And from what I've seen, there's a sauna, they can get massage, they can get facial, they can get B12 shots, they can get uh, platelets, I think. Yes. You know, it's like a real health facility. And, um, you know... Uh, how do you see that working and how did that come together? And before I forget, I just right. want to tell everybody on September 8th, I know that we're going to be doing some sort of a show, hopefully, yeah. from your facility yes. and uh, uh, some sort of a radio show either on this network or a different network where we're going to be showing a fashion show straight uh, from the studio <laughs> and I'll be hosting that and I'm really excited about that. that. That's that September is, 8th. Yes. If people want to find out more information, they can go to wowhealthgroup.com yes. and yes. DefyGravityYoga.com? Is uh, it? DefyGravityYoga.com. Yes. And they can reach Lisa at, do you want to give your telephone number quickly? It's uh, 561 866 6001. And they could go and ask me any questions or leave me a message. And on September 8th, we're going to have some really cool fashions. So you'll have to look out for that. And, and we'll talk about how fashion also helps with feel good. Feel good makes you. You know, think positive thoughts, which reduces stress. So, you know, looking good, feeling good, staying healthy, staying fit, those are all important things. Um, so how do you integrate? How do you get your your customer or your athlete who comes in right. to integrate with WOW? 
Okay, well, I'm actually really excited about um, WOW Health that came in because as much as I work on the uh, fitness end of it, mm -hmm. uh, Tanya, who, who runs the WOW Health, um, and as you said, you mentioned all the things, okay? So we do a lot of beauty and skin care as well as having a doctor in there that does a lot of um, the B12s and mm -hmm. the Botox and the, um, the PRP and things that I never heard that I've been trying that are really, you know, <laughs> great. And Did you try the PRP? Um, no, but we actually have anything called um, the O shot. I mm -hmm. mean, which is more for sexual enhancing, like all these things that, you know, we, we have no problem going anywhere Anything to do with um, making, you know, women aware and feeling and feeling good. Right. And it could be, got, there's, you know, things, you know, for men as well. So I don't want to just say that it's for the women. The O-Shot. Yes, uh, the O-Shot. I will have to do a whole series yes. on what the O-Shot yes. is. <laughs> and, and actually, and stay tuned because I'm also in January um, doing a lot on Tantra Yoga. So if anybody Ooh, knows that. And that has to do a lot with it of just like kind of, you know, um, coming into your power and working, you know, um, some movements around that okay. we're, we're going to do that. But getting back to, um, so the thing that I love about it is that it's kind of a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. you know, so you could take a class and then you could go for a facial or you could go for um, a massage or you could go to get a B12 shot, you know. So it's, it's taking, you know, I'm only one part of the puzzle and now it's taking the other part of the puzzle and putting us together because we're really meant as a whole. Um, mm -hmm. But um, and those are services between the classes and the service and the services we have. But one of the things that I think really makes us um, unique is that um, we really um, it's like a community. So it's it's very much um, when you come in, there's just a lot of positive um, um, mindset for people and that's and that like a lot of connectedness the energy flows the, en the energy is that you know a lot of people need um to get away from home or they need to call it their home they need to be around people um and feel that we're all together going through a lot of things going through a lot of things together so the energy and with all the things that we that we do um, the number one thing to do it is um, really, you know, your mind, your mindset. And so we really want to work on, you know, being positive, you know, then being, you know, having a positive attitude to being tapped in, tuned in, turned on from life, you know, so you could really enjoy, you know, all these other, you know, all these other services. And so it's a place where everybody could do everything together and kind of just, you know, feel good. Well, going back to a final question about your yeah. services, um, how long does someone need to be doing your techniques to really see a difference in their body and feel different? We've got about two minutes left in the show. You know what? Ver um, it's very quickly. You know, um, so it's it, very it, quick to see a result. It's very quick to see is, you know, first, you're probably going to you're going to feel it like mm -hmm. I can't move maybe the next day, maybe mm -hmm. be a couple <laughs> little bruises I get you know, that. here and there. <laughs> but everything is what you you know what? What you put in is what you get out. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the same thing that we really try to do the same thing, you know, with happiness, like to be responsible. You know, you're responsible for your happiness. So, you know, if you come, you know, a, a lot, you're gonna you're gonna re see the results a lot quicker. You know, if you come once in a while, you know, it's you know you won't see it, you know, as you know as quickly. But it is it, it is something that everybody could do i didn't do it for just like you know for a very small group of people i really did it for everybody because there's more people that aren't flexible and that can't do uh, you know can't do yoga that this is this is for the people who can't mm -hmm. do that and a lot of people who don't like to do yoga just because not that they just can't do it they just think it's boring or whatever it is so it's an activity so if you come a lot you will see results and so a stay lot with meaning you. three times a week two uh, times a week around three times around three times a week yes. and i'm assuming it would help um people with arthritis it would help yes. stretch yes and um you know i guess i don't know if they can do that um without feeling pain in their joints but it, no, it should help it right? should it should help i have had um i've been i i probably get a, a th over a thousand people a year and I'm like going on almost four years so I wow. I have I've had every 
different kind of person, you know, and, you know, everybody's unique, you know, within their own, you know, within their own, you know, their own selves. So, you know, uh, it could be different for one that is going to be different, you know, for somebody else. Somebody just maybe just needs to like de-stress and not do that much. And somebody needs to really kick it, you know, and really get, you know, a lot of, you know, energy out. But it, but you could transform from it. Okay. So you can transform your body you in could three transform months. Transform your body. Months? Yes. Less than three months. Um, you know what? When I say I'm a piece of it, that I'm not going to tell you that diet's not going to have you know a big thing mm-hmm. to to do with it. You know, it's a combination of it all. But you will probably have the best abs you're ever going. to... I mean, I'm I'm in my in my mid fifties. Well, you look uh, actually stunning. more than my mid fifties, and I would say that um, I'm a lot. I'm strong. I'm strong as long as you know, and everybody. And it's it's not a bulky strong. It's very lean, long because we work on alignment and posture. Well, you can take a quick stand up and show our uh, listeners what you look like. We've got one minute left. I want to thank okay. my guests. If you okay. want to stand up, people okay. can see you're fabulous. Well, well, and this show is about okay. being fit, fabulous yes. at any age. And right. look at this body right. on this woman. So, so come, so. come, come in. Let me, you know what? If you don't feel you want to be in a class, come in and do it a little private with me. I will guarantee you, I will get you moving and in shape. I just need you to come with an open mind, uh, a willing heart, and you know what? Um, and no, um, and and no big expectations that you have to be great at this. I want you to be terrible at it. Okay. You shouldn't be good at it. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you okay. showing up for our program today. Thanks. Defy Gravity Yoga Fitness Wow Health Group. You can go online and like our Facebook page, StayLiveAndFit.com. Thank you to Dr. Michelle. Um, Kerwin and Dr. Frank Snipes, as always, for being great supporters of my program. Uh, log in to us, www.stayaliveandfit.com. Watch the show and rerun. See what a fit, uh, Defy Gravity is all about. Thanks to my listeners. Look forward to seeing you on FM very soon. Stay tuned. Until next week, see you later. Ciao. Bye. You've been listening to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman, a new innovative radio show that taps into what's happening now in the medical industry. Featuring fitness experts, foodies, and medical professionals, get it right here and be an active participant in your health. Mixed messages about what is best for your health can make you feel like you're on a runaway train. Get ready to hop aboard again next time for Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.